Greetings from the land of OP. I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am standing in front of something. What's this look like? Oh my gosh, it looks kind of like a nether portal space. Ah! That's right, I'm gonna hit the nether today. Not gonna go crazy in the nether. This is not going to be a nether adventure episode in episode fucking three. Not gonna happen. But I want lava, so I'm gonna make that happen at the very least. I've also flattened out a lot of this land. Anybody that might have been paying attention can see I've got a massive flat space here. I went and leveled this whole thing because I've been mining a ton. I had a ton of dirt in my barrels. I had probably, I don't know, 30 stacks, 40 stacks of dirt. Now I have, like, maybe one. <laughs> so I flattened out all that dirt out there, and I'm cooking up some stone because I want to make uh, some border stone from extra utilities. I want to start working on base. So the next few things in my head are, number one, I need to get the fuck out of this dirt hut. I'm sick of it. I don't want to be in here. Uh, number two, I need some power, so I'm going to want lava power pretty quick, I think, is what I'm going to go with. And number three is... did I mention base? Yeah, number three is still base. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to build out a border stone, and I want to build out obsidian bricks, because they look kind of cool. Uh, yeah, right here. All you need to do is Tinker's Construct Edition, you just chisel it. That's it, you just chisel some bricks. So I'm going to make obsidian brick floors in my border stone house. But that's not all. I'm not going to make a house. I'm going to make like a giant art, like a Meiji tower, because I'm going to do like heavy Ar Ars Magica and heavy Thongcraft for this series, uh, for this particular series. I'm going to build it right here in the center of this fucking clearing. That's what I'm going to do. Damn right. Uh, so that's what we're going to happen today. So I'm going to go ahead and place down this obsidian. I've been mining obsidian like crazy because I've been prepping for this for a little while. And um, basically I have a good stack and some change of it. And what happened is, down in my mining hole, I keep running into lava flows, so every time I do, I come running up here and I grab my tanks, and I empty them out with my sweet-ass, low-tech little water thing. I put some lava right there, and it's really awesome. Anybody that might have caught last episode probably sees I upgraded my door. Uh, I turned these into sticky pistons, uh, because I had a couple slime balls, and I was sick of having to zip through here and hope I didn't get crushed. So what this has changed to now, underneath here, is it's just a torch that's it no crazy ass fucking things to mess with uh, it's just a torch so what I did was I set the orange output I put obsidian pressure plates so only I could trigger them monsters cannot trigger obsidian pressure plates only players can so I put orange on both sides and ran the cable around here and I've got the torch right on the orange thing so every time you press this the torch goes off a second so while you're on the plates the doors open so as soon as you get off the plates, the door closes, because they're sticky pistons. So that's how my door's going to work, and uh, that's just going to be a nice little high-tech, high-low-tech way to uh, keep zombies out, because they can't break this down, obviously. And uh, I've got these enforced cable connection modes so that they can try to connect to the wall, so it kind of makes so you can't get through there either. So that's kind of cool. Um, it looks shitty as hell because the cable's plainly visible, and I hate that, and so is the piston. Uh, when I have my real base, you're not going to be able to see that. The doors, the wall will just, look like, will just look like it parts for you, basically, is going to be the plan there. But this looks cool. This looks tacky as shit, though, that you can see that through the glass. So we'll take care of that, too. So the new base, is, the base when I get it built is going to be border stone, um, obsidian tile flooring, and glowstone fucking glass. I'm liking this plan so far. So, how do you make the border stone? Oh, I'm glad you asked. So let's take a look. All you do is you get stone and stone bricks, and you just put them in the table. You put just regular stone in the corners, and then you put stone bricks in a plus fashion in the center there, and you're going to get some of this edge stone bricks, okay? And then what's going to happen is once you've got the edge stone bricks, you just put four of those in the typical brick recipe to get the border stone, like so. So I'm cooking up a lot of stone for that because I've gotten a ton of cobblestone from digging. So we're going to go with that. I also need to get some basic power going. Uh, in order to get things kicked off, I'm going to want... I was going to go lava power early on. So I'm going to make lava engines, but I need to get Einvar for that. And in order to get Einvar for that, it's going to be magmatic dynamo is what it's called. We're going to go thermal expansion because fuck yes, thermal expansion. Uh, this is Einvar, and Einvar is made through a process of smelting an Einvar blend. I think that's the only way to do it. Yep. Wait, what was that? Oh, you can just cast... fluid.einvar.molten. Yeah, okay. So yeah, Einvar blend, which is made out of two iron dust and one ferrous dust, which is pulverized in a, in a pulverizer, right? So, 
Um, that is a world gem ore, and I found a bunch of that while I've been mining. We're at 29 of it so far, which is enough to make a couple of engines. Not a ton, but I just need some early on engines, because I want to automate the process of getting border stone, because I don't want to have to do it by hand forever. So that's how that's going to work out. And, um, but I need a pulverizer for that. And to get a pulverizer going, I have to power it. Do we still have clockwork engines, I wonder? Yes, we do. I uh, wonder if I want to spend some gold on this guy. Hmm. Oh, it's a copper gear now, and a clock. Aluminum brass. Oh, fucking A. Shit, yeah, let's get some aluminum brass. Uh, one copper, and, oh, I'm out of aluminum still. Shit, damn, fuck, bitch, hell. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> I guess we'll do gold. Two, four, not a big deal. I'm gonna double it in my smeltery, because it automatically doubles ores. So we'll get that, we'll get a redstone. Uh, we gotta get a copper gear, so I need four copper. I've got three copper, go figure. So we'll smelt up some of that, too, in a second here, as soon as this gold is, is finished. So give me a few seconds, I'm gonna get some shit together really quick, and be back. Alright guys, I'm just finishing up putting this together here. I've got a redstone transmission coil, which is a gold, and two redstone. And I've got a machine frame, which is a gold ingot, either four steel or four iron, whichever you want to do in the corners. I recommend iron, probably, because it's better to get, or easier to get. And then four of any kind of glass will get you one of those guys. And then, of course, I got a piston here, which is your typical piston recipe. Four cobblestone, four planks, an iron ingot, and a redstone. And I've got two copper, and I've got two flint, and that's going to give us a pulverizer. Sweet. I'm going to just stick him somewhere, because this is just all temporary as shit right now. And, of course, I made the clockwork engine that I showed on camera a second ago. It's your typical engine recipe with your three planks, your glass, and your piston. But instead of gears, well, we have one copper gear, which is copper around a stone gear, which is stone around a wood gear, which is four sticks. Uh, but instead of those gears, you'll get a clock on the other side, which is four gold ingots and a redstone in the center. So he's not hard to make either. And I think that he can... No? Is that not a... Huh? Can he not be used on the... Eh. No? Is that not a thing anymore? Can you not... What if I place it like this? Oh, those don't power that anymore. Unless I gotta configure the side. No? Shit. Okay. Um, let's try this. Let's grab a pipe. I got, uh, I got some gold on me still. Oh, we only need one of those. Uh, let's do this. Let's go gold, gold. Oh, you know what? I need a wood pipe, too. Oh, look at that. I got... I did need that other glass, after all. Nah, nah, nah. Alright. Uh, and then we'll do one of these with redstone, and we'll do one of these with gold. So we get a gold kinesis and a wooden kinesis. And let's do... that, and that, and... I don't think these actually can take buildcraft power anymore. No, they can't. The pipe won't even connect. Alright, so we can only use dynamos. Shit. Okay, that's fine. Whatevs. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to make a just regular-ass steam dynamo for the time being, I suppose. Dynamo. Uh, the steam dynamo is just a copper one, so we're going to do two copper gears, a silver transmission coil, which is two rest on either side, and then two copper gears, three copper, and then redstone. So let me get one of these guys going. Bam! Steam dynamo. And we're just going to stick this guy right against the side. Donk. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Now, I need to get water in that guy, so let's do this. I'm just going to hand feed him for the moment, since this is temporary, because I don't plan to be doing... Uh, I plan to be doing lava power very shortly. All I need to do with this guy is to get some Einvar smelted. That's it. Really, that's all I'm, I need to do with this guy. So I am going to go ahead and throw a stack of coal in you, and he's going to fire up and get going. So we can see we're getting power over here. Nice. All right, there's the power. And I am going to pulverize the shit out of um, some iron and some ferrous. So it's going to be for Einvar ingots. Uh, let's check the magmatic dynamo just to show everybody. One, one ingot out of one dust. <clears throat> okay, three dust out of one recipe, which is two iron and one ferrous. So out of each ferrous ore, <clears throat> each
each ferrous ore, we're getting two dust, which is going to feed two recipes. So that's six of these guys. Okay? And then, so it's, it's two, it's one iron. You can just think of it as one iron per recipe and one half of a ferrous per recipe. Okay? So here's one recipe, two recipes, three recipes, four recipes, five recipes, etc. and so forth. Um, and I want to make a good bit of these, so let's see, we're going to need iron bar. So iron bar gears are four iron bar, one iron in the center. <clears throat> so that's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven uh, iron bar ingots per magmatic dynamo. Okay? And we're getting three per recipe. So this is fifteen of those ores. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's two engines. So eight iron ore for two engines, basically, is what you can think of it as. Um, you'll have a little bit of change left over. So I'm going to smelt up a good bit of this. I'm probably just going to go for a stack of ferrets. Let's see here. Let me get my calculator out, and we're going to check this out. Um, let's go with a stack. Oh, we'll go 66, because that's easier to divide by three. 22 recipes. So let's cook up uh, 22 of these guys really quick. I'm going to pulverize 22 iron. And sometimes when you pulverize iron, you have a chance of getting ferrous. Let's check any eyes. Look at this. So you have a 10% chance per iron ore that you pulverize to also get a ferrous metal. So I'm going to pulverize all 22 of these guys really quick. And uh, we'll be back and see how much ferrous we get. All right, we got three ferrous out of that. Cool. So we can see if we split this 22 and 22, we need 22 recipes. So we are going to need 22 ferrous ore, which is going to be 11 ore normally, but we already have three. So we're going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That's way too much. Uh, so this is 8, 9, 10, 11 right there. Okay. 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. We're going to have one extra no matter what we do. So I'm just going to stick one of these in there for now. And we're going to grind these guys up as well. And I think these might have a little bit of a... Yeah, you get a bonus of pulverized shiny metal with these guys. So don't ever smelt your ferrous. You pulverize it because shiny metal is used for other stuff later. Most notably in Deerium blends, which is also a thermal expansion piece, which is used for all kinds of things that require Enderium, Such as strong boxes, tesseracts, that kind of thing. If you have a special mod installed called Neither Ores, you can find... Um, Platinum Neither Ore, which gives you ferrous metal, but this for the time being is going to be our only source of it, because I don't think that the Direwolf 20 pack has that mod installed. We do on my normal server play. Uh, Xavier, my server friend and server admin, keeps that installed, but uh, we're not going to have that for this playthrough, so sour about that. Looks like we're going to get uh, four. Come on, four. Damn. All right, well, whatever. Uh, once we just pulverize that shit up as you get it and hang on to your blends, you'll use them later. So we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and that's going to give us 66 of those guys. So I'm going to cook these up really quick, and um, I'm going to pull this out of here because we don't need that being used anymore, really. I should have made a basic cell, actually. The Steam graphic is glitched, don't worry about that. It's Steam, it's just weird graphic glitch. So we almost used up all of our water. We got a good bit of power left in here. I'm just going to leave that alone because that's temporary as hell. I'm going to be moving that in a little while here once I get a basic base building going. So for the time being, um, let's just cook up this iron bar and I'm going to start building house out there. Alright, so we're pretty much good here. I'm going to tear up this ground a little bit. And what I'm going to do with this is show you guys that I'm going to be using obsidian brick. Because I think obsidian brick looks kick-ass. And I'm not going to dig out too much here. Uh, let's go with... Uh, yeah, that looks good. And I'm going to dig this out here. And we're going to drop a dirt. So I can do this. Because I'm lazy as fuck. Nobody likes to watch other people dig anyway. So that's probably plenty enough for neither house. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys two things. I think that if I drop this... I made a chisel. Just a basic ass basic chisel. So yeah, you can just right click that guy in order to turn them into brick. I wonder what happens if you do it again. Oh, fancy brick. I kind of like the fancy brick. What about again? Nope, doesn't go more than that. So we're going to go with fancy brick. If you don't want to uh, just place it... Oh, I need to sleep because it's nighttime. If you don't want to place it, you can do it as a shapeless crafting recipe. So uh, I don't think I do. 
Oh, come on. Only sleep at night. Fuck you. It's nighttime. I'm scared. It's fucking hardcore. So if you don't want to just place it, which I kind of don't just want to place it, uh, I don't like to do that. It takes for fucking ever. It does use durability either way. You can just do this. So you can just make a shapeless crafting recipe and do it again. That'll, that'll give you a fancy brick there. So how many fancy bricks do we need? Two. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So let's go 24 of those guys. Ah! There we go. So we'll get this. We'll stick the chisel right there. Ship, click, bam. Ship, click, bam. And that almost busted our chisel, but who gives a fuck? And we'll just place these down like this. Nice, fancy obsidian bricks. I kind of like how these look. I wonder if they take longer or slower to uh, pick up than... Normal obsidian. I think they have the same blast proof and mining speed. Yeah, they do. Okay. Well, we're not moving those fuckers. So I think that looks really cool. And then we'll do our border stone. And I'm going to make just a little house out of this, basically. Yeah, we do. I'm covering up some of the stone, or some of the uh, brick. Oh, well. Not picking that shit up. It took forever. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do is now that I've actually got some iron. I think I'm going to melt up some iron doors, because I like to put doors on my on my uh, houses, because I don't like to have pigmen just come flying into the overworld, because that kind of ticks me off. I don't know why, it just kind of does. So let's do that, and pick up these guys, there we go, that's a nice little neither house. And I'm actually going to do two more of these bricks, there we go, two more bricks, stick one there. And stick one there. And we're going to do one, two, three, four plates. Player plates. And we're going to drop two there and two there. That looks kind of cool. And I'm going to put a couple torches up in here. I'm going to put them on the inside. There we go. Sweet. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go melt up some iron for some iron doors really quick. And then I'll put doors on there. And then we're going to go in the neither. Oh! Doors! Woo! Alright, so we'll stick one there, one there. Bam. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, all better. We're good. It's cool. So here's my little neither house. This is because I don't like uh, pigmen coming through here. And this is tacky as hell, actually. So I'm going to pop this out of here. Uh, excuse me one second, guys, while I'm neurotic as fuck. That's better. Alright. And bonk. Oh, God. I am afraid as fuck. So this is where this could end really horribly and really quickly, guys. This has been Rob the OP Gamer. Hope you enjoyed my instant death in the, in the neither. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So hopefully there's no gas, because the last several times I've gone to the neither in various other games, and so it seems like there's always a gas, or a giant spider, or a nitro creeper, or something. And ooh, this isn't bad. This is a nice little secluded spot. I might have to dig my way out, but I'm kind of okay with that, honestly. I might not even need to make a little house... I brought the material to make a house, but I might not need to. Let's just take a quick gander around. There's some neither quartz. Uh, pop these fires out of here, because I don't want to run into them on accident. Uh, that's in the way. Oh god, lag. A little bit of lag from generating the neither here. This is like a maze. I'm starting to get lost. Oh, I hear a pigman. Oh, there's a pigman. Alright, guys. Um... I'm kind of pleased with how secluded it was, but it's going to be a pain in the ass finding a way out. Uh, but really, the only reason I came here was to find somewhere to pump lava. So if I can pump, find a lava pump really quick, we'll be in or a place to, like, a lava lake. I haven't even made the fucking pump yet, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, we're starting to get out. Oh, there's a nitro creeper up there. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, there's glowstone. I should get some... Oh, is this it over here? Is this is this a good time? I'm scared as fuck right now, guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Nope, that's... Well, it's a nice open area. I think I can dig my way out to that, though, because I was kind of up there, wasn't I? So let's go back around, I think. I'm going to try to get this really quick. This is kind of important, Ardite. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to try to work on glowstone yet. I don't want to come in here for a lot of stuff. I'd like... Oh, that's... That, I don't want to try to chance that. Something will blow my ass up. I just know it. I can feel my death, guys. 
I'm scared as fuck. Um, get a good bit of neither rack because we can smelt these in an, into neither brick. Thanks to thermal expansion, I think. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. But I definitely think that that's, it's, it's, it's a doable thing. You need four of them. And I need two bricks worth of that stuff. Did I come from up here? No, I came from in here. So I'm, I'm, I'll mine up a good bit of this just so that I can get, um, get neither brick going without having to find a fortress because that's dangerous. And I don't want to die to blazes. There's more pigmen. Oh, there's my portal. Okay, cool. Didn't want to get lost. Um, let me wander. No, I don't want to. I don't want to turn the camera off because if I die spectacularly, that'll be fun times for everyone else. <laughs> what about down here? Nope, that's closed off. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get up here, and I'm gonna close this guy off just so I uh, don't go down there on accident, because there's really no reason to. Alright. So let's check down here really quick. I'm going to put these away for the moment, because I don't need them. Uh, does this go anywhere? Oh, this does go somewhere. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's a nice little secluded spot. You fucks move! What? There we go. Okay. So this is definitely an out. The question is, is that a lava lake down there? So let me do this. I'm going to kind of open this up a tiny bit. Because I want to be able to book it back this way if I have to. This is going to be... You know what? I'm going to make this my little strong section here. Because if a blaze hits this... Or not a blaze. If a gas hits this... I'm actually going to use this fancy brick here to make like a doorway, I think. That I can hide my scared ass behind. There we go. And we'll go like this. Just open this up a little bit here. This will look good. Because I think this is going to be my access point back to my portal. This is the GTFO right here. So, let's go down one more, I think. One more level. No, actually, this is good. Let's actually just fill this in, because that's our running point, right? So, we'll fill that in really quick. I'm going to close this, or I'm going to empty... Clear this out. Jesus, words, 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 words. Um, we're going to do this. And this is a jump up point, I think. So let's make this sort of like a staircase. That's good. And then right here, I'm going to make this into obsidian. Just like that. So that'll look nice. And then we'll get up here. There we go. And actually, I think I'm going to do one more upwards because I've got the brick for it. There we go. Let's go up like that. So this is kind of like a nice little shield, so I can just run the hell away when I need to. And then I can hide behind the edge here like this. That's kind of the idea for that. And then if the gas ball comes past, it'll go this way and then hit the back over there. So that's a nice little escape, I think. We'll just leave that where it's at. And um, I'm going to put a few torches just so I can see my, my way up here. There we go. Now I should be able to see it from down here. So let's get down here really quick and see if there's a lava lake. Um, yeah, it's way over there, though. That shouldn't be a problem. We just need to figure out how to get over there without dying. So let's come up here. And we'll come around this side. Let's keep an eye out for anything nasty. So far, we're getting really lucky. There haven't been any, like, magma cubes or any... That was that one Nitro Creeper, but he was way away. Oh, shit. There's no way to get out there, is there? Unless it's directly... Is there a lava... Is it directly beneath us? No, it just comes right up there. So, shit. So, if I want to pump that, I have to get all the way down there. Holy shit. Uh, let's... Oh, my God. What is that? Oh, that's my door. <laughs> I'm like, purple! Oh, God. What is it? Okay, so, if we get down there, we'll be okay, I think. Some soul sand would be nice if I can get some. Um... I don't know that I... Oh, you... Ha! <laughs> you know what? I'm a fucking noob, okay? I've had OP bat form this whole fucking time. I'm like, oh my god, how do I get down there? Fucking fly! Dumbass! Okay, there's the spider. Shit. Oh, it's a sunstone! Oh, I want the sunstone. I wonder if I can get sunstones. That's what I want to do. Oh, is that cobalt? Yeah, that's cobalt. Nice. Let's get this cobalt really quick here. I'd like to get that sunstone. Um, I don't have a magnet, though. And I don't know that I have a way that can easily pick that up. 
Oh my god, I just get Cobalt Tools that would kick ass. I'm not a big fan of Manilin. I mean, I know it's got giant durability, but Cobalt's so much faster. I like I like the mining spell. Oh, there's another one over there. Shit, I need that stuff for Ars Magicka stuff. Okay. Um, hmm. You know what? This is a decent-sized lake. Oh, hey, some Hellbees. Look at that. Neither have. Alright, I'm gonna pump right here. I think this is gonna be the pump site. Yeah, that looks good. I wanna not go swimming. Yeah, this'll be good. Let's do a pump site here. I think this is this will work out just fine. And I'm gonna come up here like this, and let's dig a hole. Yeah, let's just dig a hole right here. I think. I'm gonna flatten this out really quick, guys. We'll be back. Good Christ! Everything wants to murder me. Jesus! <laughs> I've taken like two hearts of damage so far. I've had an encounter with a ghast. Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, I didn't realize those guys did so much fucking damage. Oh my god, I'm flying away from that. Holy shit. The gas wasn't a big deal. I ran into two ghasts, and I ran into a couple of, like, the hell bats that, like, flame at you. But Jesus, they only did, like, two. Like, I had glancing blows. That was painful. Holy fuck, that was painful. This is a giant ocean. Where did I put my house? Oh, shit, I lost my house. Fuck. Is it... It should be easily visible. I... Where did I... Christ. Oh, motherfuck. It was around here somewhere. That's a hell of a lava ocean. Okay, so I was flying around. I was looking for... Oh, you fuck. Oh, here it is. I think. Is this... I don't think this is it. Oh, here's some soul sand. I'll gather up some soul sand. I don't know, uh... I don't know how much of it I'm going to need anytime soon, but I should probably get some of it anyway. I should have marked my fucking neither house. I can't believe I took so much damage. That was terrible. Alright, so this foray... There's just a little bit. I can come back for more later if I need to. This foray has been dangerous as hell, and I cannot find... Oh god, I can't believe that guy hurt so bad. Is there a square on here anywhere? Like, it's just a stone square? Because... That's what I did. I flattened out a place for my, um... I think this is it right here. Okay, where am I? Right here? Is this me? Yeah, okay, so... Behind in this way? I think? Shit. God, that fucking... Magma cube, there it is. So I flattened out a house. Oh god, there's another one of those bats. Those fucking bats. Alright. So I flattened out this house right here. And, uh, this is where I'm gonna pump them either. I need to make some glass, because I like to be able to see out of the damn thing. Uh, when I'm in it. Oh, fucking bat. No. I don't want that. I want that cobalt, but I don't want to tangle with anything that might damage me. Something could sneeze on me and I'd die right now. So I got a little house going on, that's cool. And, um, I'm gonna go make some glass really quick, so I can fill that- oh, there's an Ardite right there, I'll take that Ardite at least. Because there's nothing nearby it. There we go. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna go back to the overworld now, and get some glass going, and get a pump really quick. And that will be pretty much the end of this episode, I'm thinking. I have to check the time really quick and see what time it is. Um, let's drop these, I guess, in here because I don't have anywhere else to put anything at the moment. Drop that. Oh, those should go in the ore chest, probably. Okay, that can go in here. I'm gonna make up some glass. Oh god, I gotta go get sand. Nine. Okay, so four. Hang on, let me get my calculator out here. Three times nine times four. 108. And then it's a 9x9 nine nine inside. Plus 104. 185. 1, 2. That's a little over 3 stacks of glass. I've got vanilla glass. Can I, I wonder if I can 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to use the clear glass at the very least. So I can melt this, I think. 
Can you just melt straight glass? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. So I'm going to melt up all this glass and make clear glass out of the Tinker's Construct glass really quick. That way I can use that in the smeltery. And I'm, let's make a pump really quick while we're waiting on that. So a pump is going to be... Here. Iron pick, iron gear. Four iron. And all that kind of stuff. And it occurs to me that... Um, how am I going to get out of there? <laughs> Shit. Um, I would normally just use an inner pump, but I haven't gotten blaze rods yet. Now that I have three hearts, yeah, that's going to be a bad time. That's going to definitely be a really bad time. So I need to... Why am I going weird sideways like that? That's kind of strange. Shit. Oh, well, whatever. So I need to figure out how I'm going to get this out of there, and uh, maybe a test rack would do us good. I do have that one steam thing. Alright, let me go figure out what I'm going to do with this. I'll be back, guys. Alright, guys. Unfortunately, we have hit a point of about 30 minutes in an episode. And I'm hearing zombies somewhere, and I have no idea where it's. So that kind of sucks. I have to find that out. Hope I don't die doing that, because I've got a heart and a half of fucking health. But I don't want to get into more right now, because it's about 30 minutes in the episode, and I kind of want to transition... I need to do Ars Magica so I can get a healing spell. That's next on my agenda. I think I've got everything I need for that already. So that should be pretty easy to do. Um, so I'm going to call this episode Basic Power. Laid the groundwork for the pump. I actually finished the pump already and stuck it in a chest. But I uh, hope everybody enjoyed seeing me almost fucking die. Didn't quite scream like a little girl. Maybe that'll happen next time. And uh, jump into next episode for some Ars Magica. So uh, remember, remember to follow me, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Twitch and YouTube for my channels. It's all slash Rob the OP Gamer. Uh, tell your friends, start a ad campaign, pass out flyers. Catch you next time. Peace.